the, the county where my wife grew up has a road rally, which is basically a giant scavenger hunt across the entire county. It's been going on like 46 or 48 years now. She's won it twice. Her parents won it once, or at least one of her parents won it once. The problem with winning though, is that you and your team are next year, the people tasked with coming up with all the tasks for th that year. What we're gonna make here is a box that's segmented into nine little squares. Those nine squares will get wine bottles in them, and then it'll be it'll be a ring toss game, basically. We're, we're gonna go the cheap route and not buy the $155 version of it that is on Etsy. We're going to make it for 20 bucks, plus some scrap wood. A lot of this project is really cutting out a lot of little pieces. I'm using dados and rebates to put this together, but really you could just do this with screws, keep your life simple. Most modern miter saws come with a depth stop. What that allows you to do is make dados and rebate. It cuts not all the way through the board. I was planning on trying to do that with this project, but the road rally was coming up quicker than I expected it to be. So this was more of a, I need to get this project done. So I, I just did it the way I, I would normally do it, over on the table saw and with a sled. Because of the way crosscut saw blades cut, they leave like this little set of lines, little ridges, and it just it gives me a chance to bring out the router plane. God, I love using this thing. I didn't really calculate into the cost of the, the, the $20 cost of the project, the bottom panel, which is just a, a quarter inch piece of plywood. Really, I guess you could add on another 15 bucks to that, but you're certainly not gonna use all of that wood. This is like the fifth dry fit, the full on dry fit. I did take this apart, put a bottom panel in it. Okay, so building these boxes was not really that hard and I made it more difficult than it should have been. The part that sucked though was making 18 rings. What I ended up doing was using this white nylon rope, which is three strand. When you cut it, you wanna cut it with something that's hot. I used a wood burner with an X-Acto blade that seals the end so it doesn't fray all over the place. It's as long as you cut it three times the length, of the circumference of the ring that you actually want here, the diameter of a wine bottle, 
you can wrap the ring back on itself. You can see the shapes already embedded into the plastic fibers. You just wrap it back on itself. I did try like five different ways of trying to get all these ropes to join together. The quickest way was to just use a hot melt glue gun. The point that I'm recording this audio is a year later, all 18 of them are still stuck together. The boxes were painted up, sent out to the road rally. I wasn't at the road rally, so I didn't see them being used. I didn't get any footage of that, but apparently it worked out quite well. Now, I have to go get, who 17 more wine bottles and drink a lot.